Well, what I had planned to do today changed, so I figured I got a few hours. I'm gonna run down here to North Georgia. Got my bag and a couple fishing poles, and I'm gonna be hiking down this uh, creek. I'm set up for doing some walking down the Greenway here in uh, Ringgold, and uh, hopefully catch some nice fish. So I'm ready to get to it. Got my first fish. What is it? What kind of fish is it? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Ah, uh, it's a deformed fish. I think that's a Kusa bass, but what is up with his mouth? That is a weird looking. Yeah, I think it's a Kusa bass, but he's got some problems. Got it. There's a first, or a second bass. He's a little one. I'm hoping I'll work up in size, but uh, I'll take it because I just saw him around the bank. Cast over there to him, and he came and got it. A uh, large mass. Oh, you've heard the phrase, desperate times cause for desperate measures or something like that. Anyways, I'm desperate to catch a good fish. So I'm gonna, I wouldn't plan on getting in the water, but I'm gonna get in the water because I'm gonna explore. I wanna check out this bridge area and walk around and I'm gonna strip down to one fishing pole and like one lure and put on just my waterproof camera so I can just walk out here and hopefully get a fish. I'm cutting this out and I'm taking one pole. We're about to go catch a fish. Oh, he's a good one. Good fish. Yes, yes. Finally got a good one. Nice bass. Dude, he's chunky too. Oh yeah. Helger Mike came through for me. That's a chunky bass. I'm not far from uh, where I was. I'm gonna weigh this thing real quick. Well, 0.56 kilograms. Now I just gotta figure out what that is in brick and, and pounds. Oh, yes. Another good one. It's not as big. Oh, came out. He was coming right at me. Oh, there he is. Got something anyways, what is it? Oh, rock bass. Whoa, big rock bass. Well, pretty good sized rock bass anyways. Under the bridge here. All right, got another one. This time on the rooster tail. And I think we got a spotted bass. I believe it's a spotted bass. Yeah, yeah, I think he's a spotted bass. So, another species. I like to catch a smallmouth out here. I've heard they're in here, but never got one. Well, I didn't have the camera going, but I used a wacky rig, caught this little uh, spotted bass here. Nice little catch. Got a fish. <sighs> Trying to hold on to two fishing poles at the same time. And he keeps swimming them under logs. Oh, another spotted bass. Wait, maybe not. Uh, that's a, I think that's a Kusa bass. It's got the thing on the eyelids there. Kind of hard to tell apart sometimes when they look like this. But a little wacky rig. Not doing too bad. There he is. <laughs> well, this little guy. I, I kept feeling something and couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, got him. Right underneath me. The rock bass. There's a bunch of rock bass in this creek. 
I've been switching all kinds of lures if you've, if you've seen and uh, the Ned rig and the wacky rig of the last two I've been putting on there and it feels like I've catch a fish off of it so I may just leave those on. I ain't got much longer to go to get back to my truck. Man, the Ned rig's working good. Now that, uh, I'm pretty sure is a Coosa Bass. I don't know, I'll have to go back and look at them. Well, I'm holding two fishing poles standing in the middle of the water right here, catching a little bass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Coosa Bass there, but. Got it. Oh, it's good. Good solid fish. What is it? What is it? Another, goodness, a good rock bass. Let me get over here and take a look at it. That's a good size rock bass there. Like I said earlier, there's a bunch of them in this creek. Ned Rig's doing pretty good. Get these guys out of there. This little bass right there. <laughs> I cast it right on top of it. It actually hit him, I think. And then as it sank, he came and got it. Well, uh, that's just a large mouth. Yeah, regular large mouth there. Well, the Ned Rig can even catch red breast. All right, I'm finally leaving. I've been out here for a while, uh, at least over four hours. I didn't think I was gonna be there this long. I figured I'd just come down and fish a little while and leave, but you know, when you get into it and you get, you know, you want to start catching some fish, and you just keep going and keep going. I went upstream, I guess about a mile, waded back part of the way, and uh, caught a bunch of fish, or a bunch of small fish. One uh, that we'd call a, a nice, a nice uh, I think it was a largemouth bass. Um, I saw all kinds of little fish, but uh, the thing about this place is I know that there's good sized fish in here and um, I've seen pictures of them and and, and uh, part of people talk about it. So that's one of the main things about finding a place. You, if you know there's fish in there, you're going to want to come back and come back. So I'd definitely be back to this place. It's only about 45 minutes from where I live. Today wasn't the greatest day in the world, but I did catch some fish and uh, had a good time being out in the water, enjoying it. Now I'm about to starve, so I'm going to go get some food before I pass out. <laughs>